Welcome Seekers, you have made it to the Tarot Magicians channel. My name is Ricky and today I bring you another pick a card tarot reading. Uh, this is an urgent message from your ancestors. Um, you know, your ancestors are going to provide you with some guidance, advice, and um, essentially what you need to hear right now. Now, before we get started, Seekers, I want to remind you uh, to sign up to my Patreon. My dream is to be able to bring the magical message of spirit to others using the transformative power of the tarot. And the best way you Seekers can help me do that is by signing up to my Patreon. Uh, you will also unlock many benefits like exclusive weekly pick a card videos released every Saturday, any future behind the scenes footage, and also you'll have a chance to be entered into the monthly raffle to win a free private reading with me. Thank you for your love and support, my beautiful future patrons. The link is in the description below. All right, so Seekers, in front of you, you have three groups. You have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Take a moment to select the group that calls to you the most, that calls your attention the most. I am going to include the timestamps in the description below. Welcome group number one to your pick a card tarot reading. Uh, we are going to try and channel a message from your ancestors. Uh, for guidance, advice, uh, and just, you know, what you need to hear right now. So in front of you, you have three cards, all right? Three, three magical oracle cards. Now, this this one right here, this is a key that your ancestors want to give you at the end of the reading. This is a key that you're going to have to wait for the very end. Um, so we're going to put that aside for now. We'll provide you that message at the end. For right now, we're going to release two oracle cards, and um, we're going to start with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. Uh, so let's see what the message is here. Oh, you've got mountains, all right. Mountains, uh, and the message here with mountains is stand your ground, you know, hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on um, because it is absolutely right uh, just know that heaven and earth are supporting you at this time. You know, the, the mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the Great Mother and reaches high to the Great Father. Um, so, you know, if at this point you were feeling any, any kind of pressure or challenge, uh, just know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. Nice message from your ancestors. All right, so the second card is from the Ancestors Oracle deck. And the message is, oh, we've got earth magic here, nature, rituals, charms. This is nice. This is beautiful. So, you know, we're starting this reading off with a lot of earth magic, with a lot of earth energy. Um, you know, we've got the mountains that go deep, deep, deep down into Mother Earth, uh, followed by uh, earth magic, you know, just nature, rituals, charms. And so there's a strong message here of grounding. Um, you know, so if you're feeling a bit lost, if you're feeling a bit um, uninspired, or if you're feeling like you need a little something extra, potentially there is some energy in Earth that you can tap into uh, to receive uh, this energy of healing, uh, potentially to just, you know, feel balanced. So going into into nature, whether it be near a body of water or whether it be uh, to as much greenery as possible or quite literally, you know, a mountainous area, you know, it's going to help you. It's going to bring you back into this uh, kind of relaxed energy where you'll be able to see clearly, you'll be less stressed, um, you'll be less unfocused. And you're going to need that because I feel like with what your ancestors want to tell you with this is, listen, you, you've you've discovered something, okay, you're working on something, you're doing something that's truly worthwhile. Um, and so maybe potentially the fact that it's been very slow to develop has got you feeling uh, like uh, it's not going to happen for you, or you're just not going to reach uh, success in that area. And so it's important for you to do everything right now that you can in order to avoid that kind of chaotic energy that says, I'm done with this, I'm moving towards something else. You know, uh, your ancestors don't want you to destroy 
what you've built. Your ancestors don't want you to move on from what you've already, as you know, essentially created. You know, you, you need to keep moving forward. You need to keep pressing forward. Uh, you must reach a place of, I would say, perseverance. You know, it's 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 gotten very. I guess stressful for some of you, you know, for others, maybe you're receiving messages of, of moving on, maybe you've received criticism from people. Um, so I feel like, you know, there's a lot of magic around you, that's what your ancestors want you to know. And you need to tap into that magic. You look at this earth right here, and you have all these creatures and fairies and nymphs and, you know, just different elf creatures that are coming out of the forest area. And just kind of, they're all focused on you. So there's magic all around you that you can grab, that you can tap into, that you can make your own. You can manifest greatness and glory in your life, but the problem is that you might be listening to other people that are telling you this is stupid, this is, what are you doing, are you wasting your time, you're, you're, you know, you're loony, um, or whatever career path you've chosen is not, you know, supported by people, or, or people have a, a negative idea of it you know these things are limiting factors these are limiting mindsets these are are, are just uh, limiting beliefs and so you know your ancestors want you to break through that i feel that a lot of the ancestors that are coming through for you are trying to really tell you listen we've gone down this road before we've been led by society we've been told what to do we've been told that we have to follow a certain path if not we're dumb or stupid or idiots or you know just not well informed and unfortunately, we've had to overcome that. We've had to uh, challenge ourselves and challenge uh, society as a whole. And a lot of us have not been victorious. You know, a lot of us have given up. A lot of us have unfortunately followed what society has dictated from us. And so a lot of our ideas have died with us. A lot of our creations have died with us. So please don't make the same mistake that we did. Move forward with authority. This is your time. So that is the channeled message here from your spirit guides with these two oracle cards. Um, let's go ahead and get a little more information. Maybe let's see what you're kind of going through. I'm going to use the Heaven and Earth uh, Tarot deck for this one. And, um, you know, I just want to go ahead and try and see exactly who is watching this. I'm going to try and see what, you, what you're going through uh, and try and see if your ancestors can offer you some more advice and, you know, potentially what is coming for you, right? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look. Group number one. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. All righty. All righty. All righty. Okay. So, um,. When I asked what is the person watching is kind of going through, you know, I've got here the Two of Swords um, in the in the uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot deck. It comes to us as a symbol of peace. Um, but when you look at this card, when you really examine the picture here, and you look exactly what's going on with this illustration of the Two of Swords, you know, it's, it's a woman who's blindfolded. She doesn't know what to do. Uh, she wants to make a decision that's very clear. Um, if not, she wouldn't be here sitting down, essentially in the middle of nowhere. Uh, she needs to make a decision and she needs to make it quick. Um, and she has the power to make that decision. She's got the power. You can see that pretty much reflected in those two massive swords, right? So she just has to make that decision. And she, unfortunately, at this moment doesn't know where to go and what to do. So... With the symbolism here of peace, you are being told by your spirit guides that, um, or not spirit guides, but by your, by your ancestors, that um, the decisions that you've made up until this point have been good. What you've thought of, what you've essentially made your mind up to, to believe, or, or, or just the messages that you've been interpreting and receiving, they've all led you somewhere. They've led you, they've led you towards a place of understanding, a place of essentially doing and almost enlightenment. Now it's just your time to actually decide to follow this or go down this path. And then, you know, the second card that we've got is the four of, uh, the, the, the four of wands and it came out reversed, which is very telling about your current uh, situation, your current mindset. You know, this is the card of the home, right? So you have a home here 
um, and you have the entrance of that home. So, you know, through the entrance come ideas, through the entrance come love, appreciation, understanding, but also hate, um, misunderstandings, uh, quarrels, you know. So, you know, it, it's, it's worth examining why you feel the way that you feel, why you can't make up your mind. So who in your home is telling you that you may be wrong or that you need to really be um, idea-oriented or that you need to be uh, maybe someone of, of value and follow through on what others are telling you and, 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 and follow through on maybe potentially doing what, you know, society dictates is a successful path. And so, you know, I feel with this Four of Pentacles reverse, it's telling you, listen, there's people around you that are giving you bad advice. And and the thing is that you know that it's bad advice. You're feeling it. You're truly kind of picking up on this advice and you're like, man, that's not, it does, something doesn't sit right in my spirit. Intuitively, I, I'm, I feel off about that advice. I don't feel like that's right. And so that's the reason why you are feeling the way that you're feeling. You know that there's something off here. But at the same time, you value these people's opinions so much and you care about them so much that you're letting that the, their words just kind of dictate. It's like, well, you know, these people care about me. They're 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 good people. They're my family. They're they're people who are trying to help me. They've always helped me before. Why would I not listen to them now? And so, you know, that's the problem here, right? That's the situation that they that you have to in some ways realize just how powerful you are right and in your ideas and and the things that you've learned and the things that you've uh essentially are birthing and bringing forth into this world these things are true 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 wonders and they're so wonderful that you know they're being represented by the mountain right so we, we go into this mountain symbolism the mountain is unmovable so these ideas these desires these passions right they they are excuse me they are things that will stand the test of time and so your ancestors want you to go after it your ancestors want you to know that listen you will have the resources necessary to fund your campaign you will have the ability to move forward and be successful in whatever pursuit whatever whatever it is that you want to actually do um, and understand that, you know, we are with you. That's essentially another thing that I keep picking up on. We are with you. We see you. Uh, we know that we know what you're what you're going through. We know what you need at the precise time you found almost uh, your purpose. So it's it's time for you to move into that and actually do what you were meant to do. And the reason why I asked this question what's the reason why? why why would this person do this right why would group number one do this and you've got here a pretty wonderful card you know you've got here the nine of cups right and so the nine of cups is the happiest uh of all the cups this is the um this is essentially the business owner the entrepreneur the idea generator this is the person that has worked diligently followed their path that, you know, forgot all about all of the negativity that surrounds them and all of what other, all the other people are telling them. You know, this person listened to their own internal compass, followed it, and now they sit here in a beautiful, blissful energy of joy, happiness, contentment. Um, and it's also material happiness. It's not only emotional happiness. This is material happiness emotional happiness, uh, just happiness, right? It's just happiness. And it comes from just following on, following through on what you want to do, what your passion is, you know, what, um, what motivates you, you know, what gets you up in the morning, what projects really just inspire something in you, you know? And so it's, you have to go after that because if you don't, then you are going to, in some ways, feel like you are almost enslaved. You know, you, you're going to feel like you're following a path that's not yours. You're not going to want to do it. Uh, anxiety will grow. Depression will grow. Um, and I feel that this is one of the reasons that a lot of people die young. You know, uh, you know unfortunately, uh, the average age here in my country is um, you know, 73, 74. And, and one of the reasons why I think that is is because of stress. It's because of, of these jobs that um, hold us down, keep us down. It's, it's decisions that we know we should have made, but we didn't do them. Uh, just because we listened to someone else and, and our intuition was telling us, no, 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 you're right. Just follow the path and, and listen to your internal compass. You know what's right. You know what's going to make you happy. You know what's going to complete you. But instead of actually doing that, 
you know, we just kind of listen to someone else. So with the other card here, um, well, essentially everything that I just said was uh, came from this card, right? The Fool. So we've got the Fool here reverse. As you know, the Fool is the card of uh, new beginnings, right? Um, new, prosperous, beautiful endeavors moving forward uh, in this kind of new energy. Um, everything is beautiful. Everything is delightful in the, the Fool's world. Uh, you know, this is almost an ecstasy kind of feeling when you get up in the morning and you're just filled with joy. You want to move forward. You want to expand. You want to go. You want to explore. You, The world is yours for the taking. And all you need is that little pouch of stuff behind your back. You don't need anything else to be happy and to have everything. Um, so, you know, it's this is a beautiful energy with the fool. Now, the, the reason why it's reversed is because, you know, you're being kind of told by your ancestors, that's kind of what you're going to be missing out on. You're going to miss out on the ecstasy of living if you just keep following what other people are telling you and doing what other people want for you, right? Um, so, so do what, you, what, what you're thinking of doing now. Follow through on that. Do it to the point where, you know, you've tried it and tried it and tried it and you're going to keep trying and you're going to be successful. You know, whatever that dream is, whatever that um, that uh, thing that you want to do is, because it will give you prosperity. And um, there is, you know, not only is there prosperity on the emotional sense, but there is material prosperity, material happiness as well. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some Oracle cards. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, an Earth Magic Oracle. And let's see what the Earth, since we got so much uh, Earth symbolism here, I want to see. Well, this isn't really Earth Man, this is Pure Magic. So the Pure Magic Oracle cards. We're just going to throw one. Let's see what we get. Ancient Amulets, Fortune, Protection, Skills, and Possessions. Interesting. All right. Look at that. So this is interesting with this card, you know, it's like uh, for uh, for some of you, I'm feeling I'm feeling this energy of like entrepreneurship, right? I'm picking up on this energy of selling a product that you want to sell, building a community of people. Um, there's fortune there. There's protection there. Um, also, you know, I see for some of you, your ancestors would like for you to potentially maybe buy something that you've been wanting to buy for protection. You know, this could be um, crystals. This could be uh, just uh, protective things. I mean, you do have your earth magic, right? Rituals, charms, nature, earth magic all around you. So you're kind of being told to maybe carry with you one of these beautiful stones. Also, these stones are great for, for grounding. Um, you know, if for some reason, this is just something that's going to really uh, keep you centered. Um, and it's going to just uh, keep your mind clear. It'll help even if it's a small little bit. It will be enough to take you to that next idea or that next, um, you know, set of events that just takes you to uh, a more prosperous future. So start doing that. Um, the fact that you've got here one of the key words being uh, possessions, it's a confirmation that, you know, in many ways, sometimes you might have to leave behind some kind of possession. If you are looking to maybe go somewhere, travel somewhere, maybe move somewhere, um, you might have to sacrifice a few things, right? So you might have to leave behind some possessions that, um, you know, essentially you don't want to. That is one of the sacrifices that you're, you're, you're going to have to make. You know, I feel like some of you, one of the reasons why, you know, you're listening to this uh, voice that tells you don't do it is because of the sacrifice that you have to that you have to essentially do. You know, the mountain is beautiful, right? The mountain is, is gorgeous. You look at that mountain and you're like, yes, that's the symbolism of my idea. But another way that you can look at this mountain is, okay, I have to climb the mountain. And so that's difficult, right? Having to climb that mountain to reach the very top, that's difficult to do. The the beautiful part of this is that when you when you climb that mountain and you reach the top, well, now you get to run down the mountain and it is much more fun running down that mountain than it is climbing that mountain. So you, you just have to kind of go through that. And so potentially, you know, for some of you, not all of you, obviously take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, it's important for you to let go of worldly possessions that just essentially are kind of tying you down, uh, holding you down energetically. Um, skills, you know, maybe there are skills that you have to build. You know, your ancestors definitely want you to focus on 
uh, skill building. So if you are planning on doing something and you really are thinking about this and you really want it and you're like, yes, that's what I want, um, you have to dedicate time, energy, attention, and uh, learn as much as you can about that. You have to know everything about what you want to do. You have to be a professional in every sense of the word. You have to digest, ingest every piece of information about that thing. All right, you have to uh, listen to seminars, you have to read books, you have to watch lectures. Um, it's just, you know, and obviously invest um, in a way where you're not putting everything that you own into that thing. You know, that's for my entrepreneurs out there, that's for the people out there that want to start a business. And nowadays, you know, you can start a business with uh, minimal, minimal amounts, amounts of money. Um, so there's definitely opportunities out there. You just have to be very smart about it, gain the, the proper skills, um, and understand that there is a good bit of fortune out there for you. There's, there's money to be made out there for, for those of you that are potentially, you know, thinking about career and money and finances. Um, but yeah, you know, this is definitely something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy. So let's go ahead and keep throwing some Oracle cards. I'm going to throw... Let me see, I'm gonna throw a sacred forest just because you know we've got a lot of earth energy here. So we're gonna throw a sacred forest card. We're gonna see what else your ancestors want you to, you know, just potentially focus on or uh, potentially do. Let's see. All right, enlightenment, forest, temple. I like this, look at that. Number 19, that breaks down to 10. So this is the end of a cycle and reaching a new cycle. So the fact that you've got here Forest Temple, right, Enlightenment, and you have essentially you, which is, it's funny because it's you with that, um, with that amulet, you know, with that ancient amulet that we just essentially revealed here in this magic card. You're holding the amulet. Now you're coming into this kind of temple energy here with this, this temple of enlightenment so that you can reach a place of true um, understanding you know and so you you bring with you a cup which is for me it's like emotionally being okay with this it's emotional emotional maturity so it's like you know your ancestors want you to put some intent into into what you want and so if you have a dream if you're trying to manifest it put intent towards it right try and manifest it by essentially asking for it, uh, putting forth the, the different messages that, that will kind of keep you thinking about this. It'll keep you in a place where you are constantly just kind of vibrating with that energy. And so one of the things that spirit would like for you to do and your ancestors would like for you to do is to visit a place in nature as soon as possible. Uh, visit that place ground yourself, find your peace there, um, connect with uh, with the elementals, connect with uh, Mother Nature, connect with with Earth, and so be very thankful when you do this. You know, open yourself up to understanding, to receiving. Open yourself up to peace as well. Um, you know, one of the things that comes with this um, mentality that I see here is anxiety, anxiety, fears, and so all of those things are limiting limiting factors, and you have to just get rid of them. If not, they will overtake you and unfortunately it'll keep you stuck and you don't want to be stuck because you have a strong purpose you are a dynamic person you're here to do great things from what your ancestors are telling you you know they're supporting you they're backing you up they don't want you to make the same mistakes they make um and so there's a sense of like understanding and this is your time group number one you have to move forward and you have to be successful at this and it's, it's what's going to bring you happiness. That's the reason why you have to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a card from the Eyes of the Soul. Right, let's go ahead and do an Eyes of the Soul. Let's see what messages we get for you from your ancestors. <laughs> oh, all right. So you've got here uh, card number six, Defend What is Dear to You. All right. So, you know, we've got more more information here about uh, what we saw at the very beginning of the of the reading, right? You are being challenged. Your ideas are being challenged. 
your thought process is being challenged. Maybe, maybe even just society. You're seeing some YouTube videos online. People are talking negatively about this, and you're like, oh, maybe they're right. No, 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 no. Defend what is dear to you. Okay, defend it. This could be an idea, a thought process. This can be a potentially for some of you. You know, this could be someone, an actual person. Uh, this could be uh, someone who you love, maybe a soulmate or a partner that's being attacked by your family. I mean, for some of you, I'm seeing that that might be it. And so defend what is dear to you. What is dear to you? You must ask yourself that question first. Defend it. That's what your ancestors would like for you to do. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a card from uh, the Earthcraft Oracle. Um, let's go ahead. This is one of the newer Oracle decks, so we're going to throw just one Earthcraft. Let's see what messages we get, we pick up on. Transform with Raven. Wow, okay, I like this one. So you have been tasked. This is uh, a very powerful oracle card. Your ancestors are tasking you with a little something. Um, transform, okay, transform. And the Raven for me, anytime I look at the Raven and, and the Raven symbolism, it talks about uh, endings and beginnings, right? Uh, anytime I've ever seen a raven, uh, whoops, sorry, just moved the, the desk here. Let me, all right, sorry about that. All right, so anytime I've um, connected with a raven, there is a death and a rebirth that needs to take place. There is a transformation that needs to take place, um, and it must happen quickly. It must happen deep in your heart has to happen emotionally for you. Um, you must understand that you are in a point in your life where the decisions that you've made have led you to this. You're a very smart person. And um, you know you have to be in some way somewhat headstrong. And uh, you have to just walk in this revelation that you are going to be successful with the decisions that you've made. Um, if not, then you know society will keep you down. You know People will keep you down. Um, you know, you're always just going to then be listening to what other people think is best. And that's not good because you know what's best, you know, and, and, and we all we all know what's best for us. My beautiful seekers, it is time for your key. Your ancestors want to deliver a very important key to you. So I've cleared the board and I've put down this key. We're going to reveal it now. This is something that's going to help you unlock a very important door in your life. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what that is, shall we? Wow, okay, okay. So I want you to look into the face of essentially a representation of your ancestor that is essentially here to talk to you. I want you to really look into the face of this ancestor of yours. The message that the, these ancestors have for you is simplicity. Do you want to be happy? I'm here to encourage you to keep it simple and to slow it all down. That's the message. That's the message that your ancestors have for you. Know, I'm going to channel this message further. You don't have to solve every problem. Find the clutter in your mind and environment and then let it all go. Notice how much more relaxed your body becomes when you realize and when you release yourself from having to figure it all out. I invite you to trust that life has its own way of dissolving knots. Imagine yourself up above your life, looking down. How many of the things you fret about truly need fretting? Drop into a deeper stillness. Go for a walk. Smell the flowers. Listen to the breeze. And while you listen, breathe deep into your belly and remind yourself that you don't have to have it all sorted out in your head. Try accepting the moment exactly as it is and see what happens. Beneath what you think is what you truly know. Let your knowing, gentle heart lead the way towards luscious simplicity. That is your ancestor's message to you. Truly beautiful.
Welcome group number two. Welcome to today's tarot card reading. This is a message from your ancestors to you. Uh, so in front of you, we have three oracle cards. All right. Now, this oracle card in the middle, this is going to be a key that your spirit guides want to give to you. Uh, but we're not going to reveal it now. We're going to actually reveal this key at the very end of the reading. So we're just going to go ahead and set it aside for now. And at the end of the reading, we're going to go ahead and reveal that. Um, so for right now, we're just going to work with these two oracle cards. They will represent the theme of today's reading. Um, obviously, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Seekers. Give the video a like as soon as you can. Um, I appreciate that. So the first card that we're going to reveal is from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck, as you can see here. Let's see what is behind this card, this Oracle card. Oh, we've got the Oracle. Ooh, I like this. Uh, this is definitely a very important card for me. Um, so we've got the Oracle and the, the message from the Oracle is wait for important information. So there's a strong energy of an Oracle, a psychic in your ancestry that's coming through and wanting to give you a very important message, you know. This um, ancestor is essentially telling you, hey, angels, ancestors, other ancestors in the universe are speaking to you. So look and listen for important conversations, um, signs and messages that will point you in the right direction. You know, you are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves, uh, because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. Right. So there is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you know, you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, do not take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next your angels and ancestors are supporting you at this time trust them very powerful message from this oracle so the second oracle card is from the ancestors oracle deck uh, let's go ahead and reveal it and see what the message from that oracle deck is shall we oh family connections all right respect uh people kinship right and you've got essentially here almost a representation of your ancestors you know this is this is very strong it's a it's a strong combination of oracle cards because it's almost like if your ancestors are telling you hey wait for us right wait for that message wait for that guidance don't act irrationally um right now you're kind of like you know you've got this energy going on of desperation you're acting out out of a need out of a want out of you know you're, you're being very reactionary at this moment so just wait for the messages go with the flow um there is a strong connection there's a strong connection to us your ancestors um so wait for us um also you know your ancestors with this card are telling you to be a bit more respectful, maybe to your uh, closest family members, your friends, the people around you, uh, the people that, that have a, a certain beautiful connection with you, that love you and respect you. You're being asked to give that back um, in a way. So let's go ahead and keep this going. This is very, this is an interesting combination of cards here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw some cards from the Heaven and Earth or uh, not Oracle, uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot deck, tarot cards. And uh, we're going to try and see, you know, where you're at right now, you know, what's coming, what further advice that the, the tarot might have for you. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Interesting, interesting cards, interesting energy here. Um, let's see. So what I am seeing when I look at these cards, um, at this moment, you are going through this uh, energy right here. This is the energy of the Two of Swords. And, um, you know, with the heaven and earth uh, kind of interpretation, we have peace, right? But really, 
you know, when you when you examine the Two of Swords, what, what you have here is a person, a woman that has the power to make the right decisions, but unfortunately is unable to make that decision for whatever reason. It's like, you know, these are limitations that she was placed on herself. I mean, she can easily remove the blindfolds, look in what's in front of her and make the right proper decision for her. But unfortunately, you know, she's not doing that. She's kind of waiting. She's maybe expecting something, even though she has the power, she's got the ability, she's got the, the, the authority to make it happen. It's just not happening, right? So one of the reasons why it's reversed is because the, you know there's an inability to really do it you know so if it was upright then potentially we can kind of say okay this person is in some ways uh, working towards making the right decision or maybe she has the right mindset or is in some ways making the right adjustments to or gearing up to make a, a solid or good decision for themselves but the fact that it's reversed is highlighting the fact that maybe you've made some bad choices or maybe you just are unwilling to make the right choice or potentially you know you're in such a state of maybe anxiety or panic or maybe fear fear of not finding love fear of not being successful fear of failure right maybe you're in this kind of chaotic energy that's lowering your vibration bringing you to a place where you're acting out of desperation and you're making bad decisions and so what I see immediately after that uh, with this other card, you know, is potentially material success. So we've got here, um, you know, uh, an entrepreneur, you know, this is the this is the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles for me. Anytime I look at this card, I think entrepreneurship. This is the woman that has been extremely successful through her own labor, through her own efforts, right? So she stands in a field filled and adorned with pentacles, right? She's enjoying the beauty of that uh, maybe little bird or sparrow uh, that she's holding on to. And so it's almost like, you know, nature is yielding to her beauty. Nature is yielding to her prosperity and her desires. And she kind of stands uh, here with this sense of material gain and success. So I feel like what, what your ancestors are telling you is that the decisions that you're making now might lead you towards the material, towards material, un, un, what's the word? Uh, towards not obtaining material success, sorry. Uh, so it's important for you to readjust your thinking. It's important for you to start seeing a bit clearer. It's important for you to start making the right decision so that you can reach this place of prosperity. The good thing is that, you know, you have the mindset of prosperity. You you want what's good. You want what's best for you. You want um, this energy of just, um, you know, entrepreneurship success. So maybe you're someone who is thinking of this. You know, you're someone who takes action. You're someone that, that you know, you just can't stay still. You have an idea. You put it, you put effort into it. Um, and you want to get it done. That is for some of you, not all of you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, but I feel that, you know, this is your mindset right now. Material gain. And unfortunately, your ancestors are telling you, I, we see what you want, but you're not making the right decisions towards this. Okay, so you have to start making the right, right decisions to position yourself, uh, in a, to position yourself in this kind of material gain, you know, and you have to just align yourself with this. So further advice and further guidance, we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. So what your ancestors want you to do so that you can reach the success of the Nine of Pentacles is for you to, in some ways, stop listening to the advice of people. You know, I feel like maybe there's like young, there's like a young man, it could be young men around you, that are giving you advice, maybe uh, trying to lead you towards something, trying to pretty much make you understand that, hey, our way is the way, follow us, we're gonna get you there. Uh, I, you know, th this could be a family member, it could be a friend, you know, it could be anyone, really. Um, I, I don't think that they mean, um, that they mean to harm you, I just think that it's ignorance, they just don't know. And so, they might be telling you something, or you may be putting a little too much, um, you're, you might be putting a little too much respect where it shouldn't be put you know it's like you're you're really listening to this person too much you're, you're taking everything they tell you to heart 
and um, it's time to maybe understand that um, this person might not have all the answers. So be very careful. Obviously, this message isn't for isn't for everyone, but be very careful with the young men in your life that might be giving you some advice because that advice is not uh, doesn't have any value behind it. It actually might hurt you and affect you. Um, so yeah, be very careful with this Knight of Pentacles reversed. Um, another thing that I'm seeing here with what the what your ancestors want you to know is that you yourself have the capacity to to manifest greatness and glory in your life. So the answers in some ways are already inside of you. The the the, the thing that you have to wait for is for that key so that you can unlock that door. Interestingly enough, we have a key at the very end of this reading, so that might actually give you some insight into how to actually you know, move forward and be successful in this pursuit. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But what I do feel is that you yourself have the resources inside of you. You have the ability to be successful, which is why here we have a representation of you standing and um, just getting ready to get on your chariot and move forward with just so much prosperity, uh, so much success, so much determination. You know, there's definitely an energy inside of you for material success, gain in all areas of your life, prosperity. Um, you have it in you. You have everything inside of you. It just needs to be unlocked. And so it comes with trusting yourself, letting go of those fears, letting go of those anxieties. Um, be very careful whose advice you listen to. Uh, again, that's very important. And, um, you know, there's definitely this energy of just you being successful and having the resources necessary to to see this through, to see these projects through, to to be prosperous in every area. So let's go ahead and throw some Oracle cards and try and get a deeper understanding of essentially what your ancestors want to, to tell you. So we're going to throw some Pure Magic Oracle. Let's see what the Pure Magic Oracle has to, to deliver to us. All right, so we've got here mantra medicine, command, song, incantation, containment. Interesting. And then the number 17 breaks down to number 8. Um, all right, so listen, your ancestors want you to listen to them and them alone. All right, so be very careful with the people that you have around you. Um, obviously, now it's like, you know, with this oracle card, they are confirming this. Um it's almost like with this Oracle card, they're telling you, hey, look, we're going to give you messages. You're going to start picking up on messages. We're going to start directing you in the right way. We're going to start pointing at things and highlighting things. As soon as you pick on these, pick, pick up on these things intuitively, start acting on it. But don't, don't make decisions. Don't make rash decisions. Don't start uh, testing things that you shouldn't be testing. Um, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Wait for the proper messages. Uh, just do the necessities. Do do the, the things that you know you should be doing now to position yourself for that success. Um, you know, one thing that we can also draw from the Knight of Pentacles is health, right? What are you doing for your health? Um, what are you doing to keep yourself uh, in, in, in this healthy and, and, and vibrant uh, mode? You know, I feel that maybe for some of you, there's not enough exercise or maybe you're not eating the right things um, you know things are getting out of hand maybe there might be some eating disorders the knight of pentacles reverse does also talk about health you know so we can interpret that as that um, ultimately the first thing that i picked up on is that there's people around you giving you bad advice um, we can also we can also you know tie those two things together and say okay you're going out with the wrong people people are inviting you to go out and socialize but you're going to restaurants that you shouldn't be going to you're drinking maybe a little too much perhaps you're eating things that you shouldn't be eating in these places because you feel good you feel fun you feel joyous right and so you're also listening to that advice you're following with uh, you know you're following these people and um what they're really doing is they're they're taking away from your resources. They're taking away from your ability to reinvest, right? Uh, just everything that you have into your projects. And so be very careful with that. Obviously, this message is for a lot of people. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If you felt that that really was for you intuitively, then it is for you. But um, you know, I feel like with the incantation and containment, command and song, I feel like there's. There's a call for you to start maybe 
working a little more with the tarot. So if you are a tarot reader and you are good at reading tarot, start doing some tarot, you know, maybe throw some spreads, um, potentially watch some more pick a card videos, um, really listen to the messages because right now what your ancestors are telling you, it's like, listen, you are going to be able to pick up on these messages. Okay. You're going to be open to the messages. You're going to be able to receive more than you were before. You're going to be able to intuitively pick up on things that um, are beneficial for you. So really start listening to, to the, to what the tarot has to offer, uh, connect with this tool and, and, and with spirit and your ancestors through this tool. And it will assist you moving forward and what you need to do to be prosperous, to be um, in many ways to to manifest, you know, this um, energy of success in your life. All right. So let's go ahead and throw another oracle through the eyes of the soul. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Let's see. All right, so we've got here, let the peace prevail or let peace prevail. Interesting. I like this card. You know, you've got a nice Templar here. He's kneeling and, um, you know, nice Templar were the um, protectors of truth, right? So let peace prevail. This is a nice card. Um, so for those of you that potentially are going through some family feuds, family troubles, um, it's time to kind of forgive, right? Forget. Um, oh, you can never forget, but you can definitely forgive, right? So that's the reason why you've got this family connections card here, right? Respect, right? People, kinship. Now you've got the let peace prevail. So for those of you that are having feuds in your family, feuds with people, um, maybe there's an energy of like, you know, they did me wrong. I can't forgive. It's time to forgive. It's time to open yourself up to that energy. Your ancestors want you to really dedicate some time to this. It is in many ways important to them for you to do this. Um, and I feel like maybe, you know, the, the, the energies around you, maybe your family, uh, maybe uh, people that really care about you, they're going to play an important part in your projects, right? Um, so at the same time, you know, you have to take into account that there are some energies and some people that just aren't good for you, right? So maybe you are right. You you don't have to partake in what they tell you. You don't have to do it, uh, follow the advice that um, they're telling you. You don't have to really follow through on this, but you have to let peace prevail. So if there's any feud, if there's any bickering, if there's any back and forth, if there's any problems, um, you know, just forgive, 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 forgive. It's going to help you. It's going to assist you in just being able to, to reach the success that you want to reach in your life. All right. So obviously that's for, for some of you, let's go ahead and throw another Oracle. We're going to throw an Oracle from the sacred forest. Let's see what the sacred forest has for us. Shuffle. See what else your ancestors want to reveal. Ha ha, secret spring success. So your ancestors want to highlight the fact that you are going to be successful, okay? There is going to be success in your life. Success is coming, right? So you've got here also the number 34. Uh, the number 34 breaks down to seven. Seven is the card of leadership for me. You know, seven is uh, the card of standing out, right? It's, 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 uh, rising up to, to a challenge, rising up to, um, challenge the, the current King or the current system and, um, being victorious, right? So in many ways it talks about coming into an industry and being victorious, you know, being a trendsetter, you know, so you are going to be successful in whatever pursuit, whatever career opportunities you, you thought of, um, this doesn't have to be career in in in, uh, in 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 the deepest sense. I do feel like you know there aren't as many cups as I would have liked. So that I you know to talk about love, there's more material, you know, more pentacles, more moving forward, more decision making. So the message is in its entirety about decision makings that have to do with your career and your prosperity, possibly your health. Okay, it could be health related, uh, but you will you are guaranteed success in these areas. Is what your ancestors want you to know. You are going to have success. Just listen very diligently, right? They're, they're guaranteeing success if you listen, if you follow through on the messages that they have for you, if you, um, if you're open to receiving those messages and then you apply them, 
you will have that success that you're you're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and keep this going. Let's throw another Oracle card. I'm going to throw a card from the Earthcraft. And let's see what the Earthcraft has to give us. <laughs> Warrior Woman. All right. Look at that. Number 41, Warrior Woman. So, you know, this is almost an acknowledgement from your ancestors of who you are. You know, it's like they're looking at you and they're, they're trying to tell you, listen, you're a warrior. You were brought into this earth to fight and be victorious. You are going to manifest greatness in your life. You are going to be successful. Um, you know, you're going to take that bow and those arrows and you're going to take it and you're going to put it through the heart of your worst adversary. You will be victorious, right? And um, you're going to do it because you have the fire, you have the dynamism, you have the ability to be successful. And so, you know, all you have to do is just be open to receiving knowledge from your ancestors. Be open to receiving understanding. And, you know, sometimes with this warrior woman, one of the things that, that's missing um, is is the ability to let go and receive right because we're always constantly fighting 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 trying to get the upper the upper hand and, and gaining that upper ground and sometimes we're just moving so fast that we forget to slow it down listen to the energies around us listen to the wise counsel of the elders and then make a decision uh, that's going to be beneficial for us and it will bring us success right so that's what your ancestors want your ancestors want you to slow things down pick up on the messages you will have success. That is definitely something that's coming, but slow it down. All right. Okay. So I want to clear the board because there is a very important key for you. All right. Let's go ahead and reveal that key now. Here is that key. Let's go ahead and reveal it. So one thing I want you to, to keep in mind with this key, this is a key that your ancestors want to want to give you so that you can unlock a very important door in your life. And this door is going to help you and assist you in all areas of your life. Uh, so take what this key gives you and apply it. So, all right, so let's reveal the face of your ancestors. All right, look at this. Look at this. Um, so one thing that I want you to do when you look at this card, I want you to just see the face of your ancestors here. I want you to see almost a collective face, right? This doesn't have to be just one ancestor. This can be the totality of your line. I want you to look into the eyes of these ancestors of yours and receive this channeled message from them. I come to celebrate your humanity to remind you of your innate goodness and to reassure you that there is no feeling in you that is inherently wrong or bad no matter what you've done or experienced in life you are innocent at your core what matters now is not what you feel but what you do with your feelings i ask you please don't reject your feelings or react to them. Simply acknowledge and embrace any emotional turbulence within you with compassion. Nervousness is only a sign that you have some feelings that need to be seen and embraced. Do not run from your pain, for along with your pain comes a great deal of pleasure. Wow beautiful message from your ancestors group number two i hope you enjoyed that hope you received from that thank you so much for watching um and that brings us to the very end of your reading thank you so much um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a like as well um, also support me on patreon um, i do have a monthly raffle that uh, for a free private reading with me um, so, you know, have a chance to be entered into that private reading raffle. Uh, the link to that Patreon is going to be in the description below. Thank you, Seeker, so much for your love. Um, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you thought about this reading. If you have any more ideas for the for future uh, readings. Uh, also, I included my Amazon witch list. Um, I, some of you Seekers have been asking me to uh, go ahead and share that. So I went ahead and included it in the descriptions below as well. So thank you so much. Um, I never thought of, of doing that. 
I uh, never really considered it, but you know, you seekers uh, brought it up. And so um, I'm obliging. Thank you for those of you that actually want to gift me something. That That's definitely very touching. Thank you so much. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Welcome, group number three. Welcome to today's Pick a Card Tarot reading. Ur an urgent message from your ancestors. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a like as soon as you can. Now, in front of you, you have three oracle cards. All right. Now, the oracle card in the middle is a key that your ancestors want to give you so that you can unlock a very important door in your life. All right, now this key is going to be revealed at the very end of the reading. I'm not going to reveal it now, so we're gonna set it aside and we'll reveal it then. For right now, we're gonna work with these two oracle cards right here. Uh, we'll start with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. Let's see what message we can obtain from it. Oh, you've got winter, all right, you've got winter. Take care of your needs. My, oh my, this this is a very interesting card, you know. This is um, your ancestors telling you to do everything you need to be at your best and uh, then move beyond your fears uh, and limitations, essentially. You know, you, you have an opportunity to move beyond your fears, uh, although you may feel in the dark at this moment. Uh, get comfortable with being in the unknown and, and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what you seem uh, through, through what seems to be essentially a challenging uh, time or a challenging process. Um, so your ancestors are asking you uh, for you to ask yourself, you know, what you need to do at this moment uh, to just be the alpha and uh, instead of the lone wolf. What can you do right now? Uh, so when this winter card shows up, essentially you're being told to question Question everything. Question where you are right now. Question why you've you've been here. Why you're here now. Uh, question what your fears are. Uh, what limiting beliefs you currently have. Uh, so this is very important to do. So let's go ahead and reveal the other card. This is from the Ancestors Oracle deck. Let's see what we get. Boom. Oh, all right. You've got half courage. My strength. Fearlessness. Warrior. I mean, my goodness. Uh, so, not only do are we moving away from, um, or that's not the right uh, words, moving away, but not only are you being told with that winter card to be the alpha, uh, not only are you being challenged uh, by your ancestors to step up to the challenge, to keep moving forward, and uh, essentially take on that alpha-like wolf spirit, but now they're telling you to also have courage, to have strength, to be fearless, to be a warrior. My goodness. So, you know, these two cards are just aligned beautifully here, to be honest, uh, group number three, beautifully. Um, it is a very daring kind of message from your ancestors. You know, your ancestors are definitely trying to awaken something in you. And that something is a warrior spirit. It's the spirit of not giving up. It's a spirit of moving past your limitations. It's almost like if uh, a lot of the people that pick this group are going through a bit of darkness, you're going through a bit of sadness, maybe some sorrow, you have a lot of fears, you have a lot of insecurities, you have anxieties, all of the negative things that we can associate to unsuccessfulness or uh, unfortunately unhappiness, you know, all of these things, they're, they're in your life right now. And so you are being right now asked by your ancestors, wake up, get up and do what you need to do. Be the alpha of the pack lead you have the resources you have the ability you have the intelligence you can command yourself and you can command whoever is following you um, so you have to have courage you have to have strength you have to be fearless okay you are a warrior so you know very interesting set of cards here um, with the wolf you know one thing that's interesting about the wolf is that the wolf is active year round right so not only in winter you know winter is definitely the harshest but they're still active they're still going for they're still trying to be successful in every area so you must adapt that same kind of energy um so if for some of you that have maybe 
you know, unfortunately experienced something bad recently, some kind of like bad news, understand that there are better days. You just have to keep moving forward. Remember who you are. You are a warrior. All right, so let's throw some tarot. Interesting so far, uh, these messages. So we're going to go ahead and throw some tarot and get a deeper understanding of, uh, of, of what you're going through now. We're going to use the Heaven and Earth Tarot deck for this. We'll see what the Heaven and Earth Tarot deck has to tell us. All right, so what are you currently going through? Oh, I see. I see. All right, so... Yeah, you know, definitely something like this would uh, keep you down. So, okay, we'll talk about that, but let me let me just let me just go ahead and throw some more cards. All right. Okay, boy, oh boy, group number three. You know, you are going through um, this kind of like loveless kind of energy. You know. Um, so it looks like for a lot of you, uh, maybe not all of you, again, take what resonates, leave the rest, but you know, you've got the lovers reversed here. Okay. So a lot of you are going through a period of just feeling betrayed by someone you really cared about. All right. Um, this could be a breakup. Uh, this could be a relationship that didn't work out, a marriage, you know, this could be anything, right? This could be someone who you thought was a soulmate, uh, someone who you thought, um, would love you. Uh, maybe a twin flame. You you just thought these things. You really romanticized this relationship. Ended up this person was not it. Um, potentially they just you know didn't give you what you want. They took took took. They gave you nothing in return, and um, that's why you've got the lovers reversed here, right? The lovers card is one of the most beautiful of the major arcana. It's the it's the process of uh, of a union, a, a beautiful love, a sacred love, right? It's sacred because spirit is right above you know blessing that uh marriage blessing that union of two people that will come together and say i love you right so there's magic there's this energy of just you know getting through any problem or situation together uh so the you know unfortunately there's some heartbreak there um potentially because of that uh for others this could be some kind of family member or friend that betrayed you you thought that they had your back but um, ultimately you know the lovers card is a very intense card so it's definitely someone of great importance that did this to you uh, you know this doesn't have to be recently but it could be in the past and somehow you just haven't healed from it to the point where it's like you're still in this kind of like you know holding pattern it's like you're not moving forward you're not speaking up you're not creating the creator in you has died you're not being inspired to say anything you're not inspired to do much of anything so there's a bit of depression as well um and i see this uh with this queen of swords right so this is your current state this queen of swords came out reversed so it's just talking about your mind your mind uh your current uh mind frame you know your current state of mind uh you're just unfortunately feeling kind of cut off disconnected uh you're definitely feeling like maybe the world has forgotten about you or uh, you just you're not that important and so you are potentially a writer i think a lot of the people that pick this group you know you're a writer you're a creator a very creative person very artistic in some ways um, also you are someone that maybe potentially likes to debate talk um, you know, speech might be very important to you. All of that is completely gone. So it's like you have become the opposite of what you are. It's like that trauma has turned you into a completely different person. And so you are being tasked by your ancestors to rediscover yourself, to find this Queen of Swords that's inside of you. You know, unfortunately, uh, she's showing up reverse. So it's like you're currently in this in, in this going through this process i think of just um pain you know that's really the only thing that i can that i can come up with you know just boiling all boiling it all down to one word and that word is pain you are currently somewhat uh going through some pain and so there is i want to choose my words carefully here i'm just gonna say it. there is no easy way out of this um you have to get through it with courage you have to get through it 
by just tapping into the warrior inside of you. You have to get through it by understanding that life is difficult. And so you are going to experience sadness. You are going to experience this energy of unfortunately, you know, being let down. But you must keep moving forward. You must keep pressing on. And you must have an overwhelming, unyielding faith uh, in knowing that things will get better and that you will learn from these things, that you will learn from these sorrowful kinds of energies, and that you're going to use it for something so much better. And so, you know, whatever fears have risen out of this, uh, they will be dispelled. And um, just understand that you are going to, in, in many ways, be successful. But you have to just press through. You have to get through this, right? Um, all right, so, you know, the next two cards, is we got the world reversed, and we've got the the, um, the 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 page of wands or the princess of wands reversed as well. Now this these are two very interesting cards here, very interesting dynamic here because the world reverse is essentially the the advice card. And what I'm seeing when I look at this card is your ancestors are telling you like, listen, this isn't the end. I feel that for some of you, again, take what resonates, leave the rest. For some of you, potentially you've considered like maybe ending things you know it's like why am i still even living you know uh why am i even here it's like you know that that is for some of you uh for others maybe you've just considered like you know moving away from 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 a certain kind of dream or, or idea that you had you know so it's like you're going deeper into that dark hole instead of coming out you're going deeper into it um and so what your ancestors want you to know group number three is you're not done there's much, much more that you need to accomplish. There's much, much more that you are going to bring into this earth. You are going to inspire a multitude of people with your words, your writing, your creations. You have to live. You have to partake. You have to be a part of this process. You are a warrior through and through. And you will be able to take whatever neg negative experiences you're going through right now and be able to communicate that to other people you're going to help people come out of this and that will bring you life that will bring you this energy of just wanting to even do more so you're not done right the world you're not done um the 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 princess of wands is an interesting card because you know when i look at it when i when i try and, and tune into the the energies of this card you know i'm being told almost that what the, the reason is that you, that you are can't do what you want to do is because you need a spark so you need to find that spark right that's what's missing the first step is the princess of wands you need a spark and so you know potentially we can go ahead and try and unlock that spark uh with uh, the very last oracle card which is a key that your your ancestors want to give you so i think that there's going to be some information there on how you can find this spark so that you can move forward uh, but yeah, you're being tasked with uh, with finding that spark, uh, finding your why, finding your purpose, reminding yourself of, of why you're here and what you love to do. But in order for you to reach your greatest, your highest self, your best self, which is the Queen of Swords upright, you have to find yourself in the Princess of Wands. And the Princess of Wands is uh, a princess that's filled with the ability to move forward out of any troubles, right? The Princess of Wands says, I will not be overtaken by misery. I will not be overtaken by darkness. I will be victorious. I am light. I am fire. Careful, right? So this is this is the first step. Um, and, and it's important for you to get to that point in order for you to be able to reach that Queen of Swords. Um, and the thing is that the, your ancestors are kind of telling you, it's like, listen, you were there, okay? Um, you reached that point. You were, you were, you were someone who was in many ways, um, I don't want to say a completed product because obviously there's still a lot of things that we need to learn and, uh, and gain in order to grow, but you were definitely at a point where your foundation for success was there. It's like you, you were there, but unfortunately, you know, that foundation was completely destroyed um, after this kind of heartbreak and, and chaotic energy over here. And now you have to try and rebuild it. You have to try and rebuild that foundation. And the only way for you to get that foundation started is for a spark. You need fire, okay? So, 
you know, I think that there's going to be more information on uh, how you can how you can start that here in in the in the with the key from the wisdom keepers. But um, you know, we go right back to this message right here, right? The wolf. Take care of your needs. Uh, have courage, strength, fearlessness, warrior. All right. So it is going to require every ounce of energy that you have inside of you to move forward and persevere through these limitations. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some uh, Oracle cards. Let's see what the Oracle cards have to tell us. We're going to throw um, a pure magic Oracle. Maybe we can get a little insight into how uh, you can ignite this passion again, how you can recover this. Let's take a look. Gnomes, okay, look at that. So you've got an energy here of, you know, just humans, humanity, friendship, hard work, little visions. That's that's interesting. So um, I think that this is like the, the minimal that you can do. This is like the first step, right? So you've got here uh, being able to see the beauty again in humanity. Um, potentially a lot of you have lost that. It's like, how can the world be this way, right? Um, I, a lot of you have that kind of thinking. And so it's important for you to start building friendships with people, maybe speaking to some people online, uh, building solid friendships, listening to somebody else's stories. Um, also, you know, there's no sugarcoating this. Hard work is a part of it. You have to work hard and diligently to rebuild uh, what you've lost and, and rebuild that uh, foundation so you can build on it. Little visions is the final key word with this Oracle card. It's like, it's almost like saying, listen, it's time to start dreaming again. Start small. What do you want for your life? How do you want that life to look like? What would you like to accomplish, right? And have that vision. Maybe some of you have lost the ability to even do that, the ability to dream, to see something that you truly want and then, you know, just move in that direction. You know, some of you have lost that ability. So it's time to, re to, to find it again. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and throw uh, another Oracle card. Uh, we're going to throw a Sacred Forest. A Sacred Forest Oracle card. Let's see what the Sacred Forest has to share with us. We're going to shuffle. And here we are. Power. All right. I like this. Okay. Your ancestors, man. All right. Uh, uh, your ancestors are telling you, hey, look, you are powerful beyond measure. You have the energy of a dragon inside of you. You have the fire. Um, you are in many ways filled with magic. And so you can manifest greatness and you can manifest glory. Um, you just you have to really just put all of your attention all of your mind to this pursuit um, and you have to plan accordingly plan to do this you know you can't allow for the days to just keep going by and you just you know keep sleeping and um, you know just being in this kind of fog you know make the decision acknowledge that you're in a fog acknowledge that you're a bit down and do something about it you know you have the power you have the ability um, so very interesting card here you know, it talks about uh, finding that that dragon inside of you that says, I can persevere. I will be great. I will be powerful. I will be dynamic. Nothing can stand in my way. So powerful card. All right. So let's go ahead and throw a card from the through the eyes of the soul. I'm just going to throw one card. Let's see. All right. So. Here we are. We've got, oh my, you've got create, activate your DNA. Yes, I love this card. I love it because it's so in line with what I saw earlier. And now we've got the confirmation, right? I love it. Some more confirmation. So one of the ways to ignite that spark, right? One of the ways to really get, get you going is to tap into your creative energies. Um, whatever that creative energy is, you know. Uh, start doing it. It's, it's in your DNA. Activate your DNA. So it's like, you know, you are a creator. You create. So why aren't you creating? Right? You have to start. You have to create something. You have to write something. You have to speak something into existence. You have to, you know, paint something. Whatever it is that you do, whatever creative pursuit you are following, you know, it's in you to do it. It's, you, it's a part of you. So, you know... You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, who the heck are you? 
who the heck are you? And you have to see that image scream back. You are a freaking creator. So create, right? Beautiful, beautiful message from your ancestors. I love it. All right, we're gonna keep the Oracle cards coming. Let's throw uh, an Earthcraft Oracle card. Let's see what the Earthcraft has to tell us. This is one of the newer Oracle decks that came out. And then we are going to reveal your key. Stay tuned for that. Okay. All right. Spiritual journey. My, my, my. I like that one. Man. Um, yeah. So, boy, oh, boy. Your ancestors are giving you all of the things that you need to do. I mean, this is like a a recipe for success here right so once you start creating right once you find that inner creator once you activate that it's important for you to start on a spiritual journey right this is a journey of discovery uh the 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 study and 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 just the the understanding of the true power of source the true power of just this vast universe of ours and so how you know how you're connected to it and and how you're an integral part of it and, and how it can function without you without your vision without your creative spark and so all of that comes with your your journey right your journey with uh with spirit uh with seeing magic everywhere with understanding that that magic is available to you and um it doesn't matter essentially you know how successful you are or, or even just how creative you are or just how great you are all that matters is that you are here in this moment and the fact that you are here is magical right so seeing yourself as a part of that magic and so you know it all comes through an expression of self who are you what are you here to bring how are you going to make this world more colorful more vibrant right so my my oh my uh again you know create um, start with having little visions. It's going to require some hard work. Friendships are important. Start communicating with some friends about it. Start talking about it. Go on that spiritual journey. See the beauty that is everywhere, right? Tap into that beauty. Grab it. Feel it. Okay? All right. So it is time to reveal your key. But first, we're going to clear the board. I just want for that key to be the only thing we both see. And here we have your key. All right. So group number three, what I want you to do when I flip this card is I want you to see your ancestors reflected in this face. OK, um, you know, this doesn't have to be just one ancestor. This can be. A combination of many right but this is the face that they're choosing to show you so I want you to connect with this face here we go all right look at that so this is the face of your ancestors I want you to look deep into the eyes of your ancestors and I am going to channel a message from them to you this is a key that they want to give you I am here to celebrate your sensitivity and all of the ways that you are attuned to the feelings and needs of the people in your life. Being of service is a wonderful thing. That said, when you offer your support, make sure that you are coming from a good place. Make sure you are happy with your own life and that you are not just trying to get your own needs met by meeting the needs of others. I can guarantee you people can smell hidden agendas. If you are isolating yourself because of hurt feelings, it's time to reach out for support. Your heart is too big and beautiful to close off for too long. Wow. Oh my, oh my, that is a beautiful message. Beautiful message from your spirit guides. Not spirit guides, your ancestors. All right, so that brings us to the very end of the reading, group number three. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, to subscribe. Please give the video a like as well. Um, support me on Patreon, Seekers. Uh, I'm new to Patreon. I would love for you to support me. Uh, join the community there. I have many you know, exclusive uh, pick-a-cards that I'm just putting 
on Patreon. Uh, so in order for you to un unlock it, uh, please go ahead and support me there. I'm going to include the link in the bottom. Also, you will have the chance to be entered into a raffle to win a private reading with me. Um, so, you know, a private reading is uh, definitely something that a lot of you seekers are interested in. So you'll have the, the, the chance of actually winning it on a monthly basis. This, this raffle is done every month and um, I call out the winner at the end of the month. So go to my Patreon, support me there. Don't forget to uh, give this video a like. Don't forget to comment down below, Seekers. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you thought about this reading. Um, I also want to know if you have any ideas for any future pick eight cards. Um, you know, I've, I've unfortunately I haven't been able to read um, what you Seekers have been writing. It's been busy. You know, I've been trying to do as many videos as I can. It's been very hectic. I haven't had a chance to really go in and and read every comment as, as I and I love doing that so it hurts me that I haven't been able to do it uh, but I do go in there and read some comments so please let me know if you have an idea put hashtag pick a card because that way I can actually search for you if you put hashtag pick a card and then ideas um, I can search for that and I can you know find you based on that so please go ahead and include that in your comments thank you once again and bye bye